Hey, and welcome to this video about Bubble and Dolly, the image generator from OpenAI. What are you gonna learn in this video? Well, you're gonna learn how to connect Dolly's API to Bubble and generate images from prompts that are half static, half dynamic, a combination so that your users could enter in their own prompts uh, in combination with your help to guide them and create some amazing images. Starting on the OpenAI's API page, you're gonna to wanna to navigate down to this image generation area. And then you can see, let's see, you just click an image generation link right there and we can get this link or you can just copy it from here on the screen, just pause it and type it out. Next up, over in our um, Bowl API connector, you'll note that there's another tutorial on this channel that is about connecting ChatGTP to OpenAI. So, um, we're going to look at what was set up in that one, but if you'd like full information on just setting up this top part, basically this top part is, and you know what, we're gonna actually delete this one and then we're gonna re redo it. That was part of testing. Um, but actually what, we're, what we have here is a authorization that works for any calls that you make to ChatGTP, chat, not ChatGTP, OpenAI. Um, and ChatGTP is a product of OpenAI, and so is this image generator Dolly. So let's go and set up this next call then. Um, basically, we're just gonna be using this same exact author authorization. So check out that video, it will be linked below if you want to um, work on that authorization first. Next, uh, we're gonna set this to post and then we're gonna pop in that URL and we're gonna call this the magical, um, let's see, image generator. <laughs> really original. Uh, here in the body for the JSON object, what we are going to do is take this, the request body, we can just copy this uh, straight up and then bring it back into here. And then like all of our other times, whenever we uh, make something that is dynamic here, we're going to add these parameters and then we're going to say prompt. And let's prompt it with something. Let's just prompt it with um, you know, mountain, vista, sunset. And then let's go 512 by 512. And you can see over here the, um, the various sizes that are available. And we'll leave everything else as is. And then we'll go ahead and initialize. Let's see, for the N, I think for the purpose of this one, uh, yeah, we'll go with uh, we'll go with three. That's fine. We'll see what we get, which will take a little bit longer as it goes out and talks in a very sophisticated way to a sophisticated program called Dolly. Uh, so you'll note here that this data it comes back with these three URLs, and that when we're working on those blue dynamic expressions and you're searching data in your Bubble app. The, you'll be following this uh, trail of breadcrumbs. So it'll go from the, uh, the what what it what the response comes back with, and then its data, and then its URL. Its first item URL, or its second items URL, or its third items URL is how that will work. So we'll hit save here. If you hit cancel, you'll notice that it'll actually still be read here, and then you'll want to reinitialize it. But with that initialization set up, we can head over and take a look at our um, UI. So in the other video that we did on this channel, uh, if you happen to see that, then um, you know about this UI and all the setup stuff here. Basically all we're doing here um, for this time around is we're going, to, we're going to be generating these images and then we're going to generate those quotes that we did from the chat GTP prompt last time where we had some movie quotes and then we'll just be placing those on top of an image. So a little bit of combination of the two, uh, really, 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 really rudimentary combination of the two. And we're just going to um, delete those and we'll just see everything that gets set up from scratch. So one of the things I'll mention that I have going on here is I have a, uh, a custom state if you would like. Um, we'll just look at that being set up so it is this, a text, and it is a list of text. And that was the list of the URLs, the three URLs that came back. So that's where that's gonna go. Um, cool, so what's gonna happen is someone's gonna search a movie title 
And here is, so they're gonna search your movie title and that's gonna prompt ChatGTP to return some stuff based on that movie title. So actually, let me go over to my example in the last one. Let me just take this. And you know what? Actually, I think we're just gonna build, we're gonna build directly on top of this. So rather than that other page that we were on, we'll just, we'll start here with this page. If you recall, if you did view that video, um, what ChatTTP did is it gave us a response of movie quotes, which I'm going to reinitialize so that it's just this. And the reason why I'm just doing one is just because for the purpose of this, this uh, setup, we're not gonna work too much here with uh, bubble data and learning how to move things around. May the Schwartz be with you, perfect. Uh, and also with you. So um, what that's gonna do is it's, it's gonna give us a quote like that and we'll take that quote and then we'll put it on top of some images. And so when this is hit, we're actually gonna get into the workflows now. Um, so we have this OpenAI movie quotes thing that uh, takes the title from our search box and then it gets a result from the response uh, basically of this, this right here is the response from this. If it's just review for anyone that's again seen that video. And then we show the response group, which we'll work on in a second. But prior to that, we're actually going to, um, we're gonna make another call. So here where, wherever, whenever you set up your API, whatever you happen to name it, uh, let's see, I named it magic something, <laughs> magic image generator. So um, what we're gonna do for this one for the prompt is we're going to uh, give it some help. And so what I'm gonna do is I have this, a famous scene from the movie with actors and in a photorealistic style. So I've broken this down to, here's the first part of the prompt, dynamic, next part, dynamic, next part, dynamic, next part. And so basically we're gonna take this and then for these actors, we'll just set up a couple of, so let's see, we'll just set up a couple of inputs. So what I'll do for that is I'll just draw in a group here. Okay, so this satisfies kind of the conditions for this. And again, if you were actually building this, you would spend more time on this part and get it set up so that um, you know it would be perhaps a little bit nicer than this. Let's go and just take a look at our UI update uh, on this one. Perfect. So now, now we'll work with this input and then we'll also work with this one. And we'll insert our different actors' names and get going. So let's see what we got here. Um, first, let's go back and look at our workflow. And we're gonna do this body prompt here. And so let's go ahead and just insert this broken up prompt. So we'll start here, add a space. And then this will be the, um, the search movie title is value. We'll add a space. with the actor, and then our actor input one value, and actor. And obviously these prompts, again, just uh, consider they're, they're, they're an art in themselves, and you could put together whatever you think is best. In a photo realistic style, or whatever style you like. How about well, maybe we'll come back and change this. Maybe we'll mess around with it and get something different. But for now, we basically got this. We can then do this one as well later on. Um, so now it's going to go out and it's going to do that prompt. Um, and then we are actually just going to add a navigational pause here. 
for three seconds. I'm guesstimating this. Again, this would be something I'd be fine-tuned. And then we'll say show our group response. Or actually, next up, we're going to add some, set some more states. And this will be on this example here. And we'll say the dolly response of this text. And what we'll do here is the result of step threes. And again, back to that earlier example or earlier thing I pointed out, we'll do this for uh, each item's URL. So that will just basically store a list of three URLs. And then now we'll have that one quote. And what we're giving our users in this particular app um, is we are giving them the ability to see a couple of different, a couple of different things. Um, boy, that's tall. Okay, uh, so let's let's go ahead and let's uh, let's drop in a repeating group. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this one three columns wide by one column. No no dashes. The type of content is going to be. Uh, text and we'll get this Dolly's response as as what was what we're going to be using here and let's go ahead and just center this knock it down by 40 so then this will be something that people can choose from uh, as it relates to their images and the quotes that they want to, would want to choose with this giggle generator so let's go ahead and drop in an image and then a piece of text, and we'll see this all live in action. So let's maybe make this, um, well, let's see, what, what do we have here for this layout fixed? Let's go with uh, aligned apparent, and let's center this. Let's say it's 200 by 200, perhaps. And then the dynamic image source is this current cells text. So that'll drop an image into here. And then let's also, because we've done this thing where our layout is aligned to parent, we can grab a piece of text, drop that onto here. And for this text, I think we'll just automatically go uh, white as that might have the most contrast to be able to see it. And then we'll bold it as well to give some contrast, bring it up in size, maybe to 14, center it, uh, make it, don't, it's not fixed width. So let's see, let's actually go on, okay, so what we'll do is we'll give this margins left and right of 20, and we'll make this not fixed width and we'll give it um, margins left and right of 10. And we're just guesstimating this into place. No biggie if it doesn't if it doesn't exactly work out. And then we're gonna hit the center, uh, center text vertically. And then now for this text, what we want it to say is this response is Let's see, I think our response is just because of how we set up our API and be, again, because we're not super concerned about, so we're gonna get one funny quote back. Uh, we're not super concerned about, we could, we could get more quotes back, we could make this a lot more robust, but for now, uh, this is pretty good. Let's, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Let me just think through these workflows quick. So we've got this open API, it's gonna go out and do that. It's gonna get this. Uh, it's going to add a pause and then set the states. And then we also want to show this repeating group. And we don't want it. Well, it won't show anyways, really, because uh, there's nothing in it. But it's good practice to do it like this. Cool. So let's take a look at what we got here. We're going to go with Dumb and Dumber. 
and we'll say Mr. Jim Carrey and Mr. Jeff Daniels. And then let's go ahead and watch this step by step. So we make our call to OpenAI. It's going to do its thing, and then it's going to set these states. We don't, we won't get the pause because I'm kind of pausing it here, but you know, close enough, right? So we've done that. Now we'll run this, and it's doing the other one. And then we set this state, so we can see it's got an image in here. And if we were to uh, just take a peek at one of these, perhaps we could go out and look and see. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's that's uh, that's our image for one of one of the options. That's why we're doing three. It's because we don't know what it's really going to come back with. And so here we are. And uh, not exactly, not exactly the easiest to see. So so what we might do is <laughs> we might go into here and uh, just add a group that would be. Let's see if we can just. Uh, one option, and this is just an optional thing to see, but you can always you can always drop a group in and then give it a like a ten percent. You can make it give it some contrast. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop that down there. We're going to uh, center it, and we won't make a fix with. In fact, we'll make it like column. We'll let it expand out expand out and actually we want it the same size as the image. So this image is 200 by 200. And we will make a fixed width, fixed height. We'll double check that our image is fixed width. Call that good there. And then on this group, what we'll do is we'll run this down to like say 10% and then that will give some nice background uh, some nice background uh, contrast against against the quote so let's see let's go with this let's with this text let's give it a maximum width of uh, 180 that'll be sure that we get some padding on some, on some of the sides and then now let's rerun this so you can see that it's, it's uh, and this time we'll go with space balls. And then what is a, what of our, so here with Mr. Rick Moranis, Mr. Bill Pullman, and we'll giggle search them. And then we'll let, actually just let this run this time. So we'll let it go and do its thing. And with this really, really rudimentary setup, you can see there's a lot of fine tweaking and, and fine tuning that we could do. Um, but for now, what we've been able to do is accomplish a result of something that's pulled from ChatGTP and something that's pulled from Dolly AI combined just to make a little image that would, you know, if it were nicer, maybe you'd put it onto social media or somewhere. But that's kind of the, the basics of this tutorial. If you like this, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in another video.